Hello, Rogue Valley. My name is Wanda Borland, and I am a RVTV producer. And I'm here with, today with... Regina Ayers. I'm also an RVTV producer. And you are watching 2020 Soda News. And um, we're excited to tell you about the Soda Awards, which stands for Southern Oregon Television Awards. Yes, absolutely. We have lots of news for you today. We're going to start out with 2017. Yes. Well, uh, this year will be the fourth annual soda event. And the event is broadcast live from the Digital Media Center from the Rogue Valley Television Studio. And our first soda award show was in 2017. And what was unique about that one is it was totally produced by RVTV producers. Uh, we had a lot of fun planning on we it. We did. It was a small, intimate group. Regina and I were on it. Yes. Also. Al Alec McClasson. Yes, he was a really the driver. He was the, the driver of that event. It was his dream. Yes, it was. I mean, some of us were reluctant. We didn't think we could pull it off. <laughs> but he pushed us forward. And he made it happen. Lisa LaPierre, an yes, RVTV absolutely. producer, was also very instrumental right. in um, the successful uh, airing of that show. She, she was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you uh, were in charge of the catering. It was, it was a, lovely. It was lovely. It was really <laughs> lovely. And, uh, I, and we had music. You had a lovely jazz ensemble. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great event. And it for was. the first... For the first, now, there, I mean, years before there had been a awards event, but there hadn't been an awards event for many years, and so we picked it back up, and uh, um, we're moving forward with it. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So who won some of the awards in 2017? Um, well, I know that I, I directed that show, and I, I was also the um, uh, producer of the year. That you year. were. Yeah, yeah, you gave a heartfelt uh, acceptance speech. It was really uh, very insightful. We all knew you a lot better after you finished. Yes, yes. I, I'm not sure what came over me, <laughs> but, but I decided to share some personal history. Yes. Yeah. Um, great. yeah. And yeah, I, I felt it just it opened doors to that connection with um, the audience and the RVTV producers. Right. Yeah. But we mentioned Alex. Yes. We have a couple of clips okay. of Alex Good. because, um, you know, I wanted to highlight him and the importance of him uh, getting soda back started. So if we could look at uh, the 2017 Best On Air Personality, that's the award that Alex won that year. So, okay. yeah, and, here we go. Uh, the winners are, uh, who are the winners? I don't have an envelope. Who's the winner? Shout it out. Oh, wait, I think it's Alex. Her son, get up here. Congratulations, sure. Uh, 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 please let the, the folks at home and all the ships at sea know uh, why you deserve this award. I honestly don't think I do deserve it. I didn't vote for myself, that's for sure. I voted for John. <laughs> but I, I, I would have voted for John, too, but I didn't cast a ballot. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just, I, I want to thank all of you guys again, and, oh, gosh, I cannot forget, thank my mom, because, who almost, for, oh, and my wife. David. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Especially your wife. Yes. And uh, Jordan, in a small degree, he did help with the show at some point, even though he doesn't show up anymore, so. Well, that was Alex McBossin. That was Alex, <laughs> yes, yes. He, he is a... Uh, um, not active anymore, but I see him around town. He, like so many of us volunteer RV TV producers, has quite an active life outside of the studio. So yeah, he's had to uh, uh, focus on um, mm -hmm. focus on that. Yes. But we miss you, Alex. Come we do, back anytime. We, we also have a clip of his show, Southern Oregon News Network. Let's play that, and you can see a little bit of of what his show was like.
Now, Wanda, I saw you in that clip. Yes. You were looking awfully cute. <laughs> Um, that gives you a taste of what his, sh his show was like. Uh, it was, um, had a lot of post editing, a lot of special effects, uh, laughs, humor. It, it, it was really great, it was. It, it, but it took a lot of time yeah. in the studio and then a lot more time editing. editing. Yes. So I, I can, yeah, but I'm glad Alex that you did the shows because they're hilarious. Now let's talk about our MC that year was David Bruce, and um, he stepped up. I mean, David is a big personality, yes. and he brought that personality to the stage, and he was a great MC. Yes, yeah, yes, he was. And I think he might hold the record for the longest RV TV producer that is still active, perhaps? Oh, still active, <coughs> I think so, yes. Yes, he produces a lot of field productions. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But he's come into the studio recently. Yeah, he's got a show, Frightfully Brilliant. Frightfully Live Brilliant. On Friday nights. Yes, yes. So tune in, people. Yeah. Friday night, Frightfully Brilliant. Yes. Another comedy show. Yeah. Now, we uh, uh, gave a special award in 2017, oh, we did. the we Lifetime did. Achievement Award. Mm -hmm. That and doesn't happen every year. No, it doesn't. doesn't. But this program, um, the year that we awarded it in 2017, mm -hmm. was in its 20th year of production. Mm -hmm. And the name of the program is Life Passages, The Soul's Journey. And the producer is Nancy Bloom. Yes. yes. So we have a little clip of her accepting mm -hmm. her award in 2017, Lifetime Achievement. Let's take a look we at We have that. producers who've been active at RVTV for 10, 15, and in this case, over 20 years, almost as long as the station has been here. We're talking, of course, about mm. our Lifetime Achievement Award. This is a producer who's literally given a fair fraction of her life's energy into making her show Life Passages, The Soul's Journey. I'm talking, of course, about Nancy Bloom. It means so much to me. And it is, as Charles said, such an important time for our voices to be heard, for the voices that are voices of love, of truth, of justice, deep voices from our community. And when we speak with one another in this way, we give such a profound gift. This is what's kept me going so long with life passages, the soul's journey. And sometimes people say, oh, you're getting older and you're still doing that show. And I'm like, yeah. And they say, why? And I'm like, well, sometimes, oh, it's a lot of work. But then, oh, I run into someone who I feel the community needs to hear from this person. They have such a gift to share. And so it's always my honor to share these amazing guests with you. And as someone was saying earlier, our stories are the substance from which we live. And when we share those stories, we're like sitting around the fire with each other. Back in the old ways, they did that. And that's what people get life from and get encouragement from and renewal. And I am so grateful to all of you who've worked on my shows over and over and over. Michael has been with me for probably almost 20 years. <laughs> From when we were in the library, yeah, and John and Wanda. And I do want to say how much difference yeah. Charles has made to this station. I was about yeah. to leave, and yeah. his being and his good medicine, dare I say those words, has changed the whole tenor of RVTV. And it truly is just a wondrous place to come and create. And so I invite everyone out in the community, bring your voices, bring your inspiration to share with everyone. There's a lot of support here, and I, I just love the collaborative, co-creative, juicy community that we are and the fun that we have. Thank you. And by the way, I was wondering when it got to be my 20th year, this is edging into my 21st, how am I going to like celebrate this 20 years? And this is it. Thank you so much for being part of that. Shows for at least 20 years. <laughs>
So let's move on to 2018, Sonia. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, uh, let's say a few words about our MC that year, okay. Julie Gillis. Yes, first uh, female MC for the Soto Awards. Yes, yes. Yeah, and Julie is um, married to um, Christopher Lucas. Christopher Lucas, and he heads up the film department at SOU. Yes, and she's got a job now, I think, at SOP TV. Yes, I, I forget the title, but. Um, um, it's like maybe program development, mm -hmm. and if you uh, watch their pledge drives, you will oh, see her oh, in front I've of the camera, yeah, you're giving out that right. number, please call. <clears throat> yeah, she's brought, yeah, yeah, she brought a, a different energy uh, as the MC, and, um, and of course I love the fact that she was uh, a woman. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, I, I give her a lot of um, credit. Uh, she and her husband were fairly new. Mm -hmm. to the area. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought it was very um, courageous of her to just jump right in and get involved with mm -hmm. uh, community access television. And it's wonderful that her husband, Christopher Lucas, is, all, is also very supportive of uh, Rogue Valley Television. Yeah, he comes to some of our uh, producer meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he is mm -hmm. engaged. Yeah, yeah. So that year, 2018, uh, was another wonderful program. It was, and I think uh, you won another award. Uh, yes, I <laughs> did win an award that year. I'm just so humbled and grateful yes. to, to receive that recognition. Director, director. Dir and that's director the, of the that year. is because you are so willing to step up and, and direct other people's shows, uh, new people, and, um, and it's greatly appreciated. Uh, I do enjoy working with new producers to just help them get off their mm -hmm. feet because I remember when I was new, how much help I needed mm -hmm. and how much work it took uh, when you know hardly anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you really uh, rely on the uh, fellow producers to um, help you. Absolutely. We're all the volunteer crew. Every Saturday, everybody's here because they want to be here. That's right. That's right, and we, we have a good time too. We do, yeah, we do. Yeah. So we have a couple of clips from that year. Uh, the first one I'd like us to take a look at is the winner for program of the year. And uh, that year, uh, 2018, that was Southern Oregon Songwriter Circle. Uh, producer was Jesse Eels Adams. So let's take a look at that clip. Uh, the first thing a studio producer here inside the digital media center must do is to get a show into production is to assign a studio director. All of the activities in producing a live or recorded mm. studio TV program from on-air talent to the camera angles are coordinated by the director. The director takes the producer's vision and coordinates all that must happen to achieve it. In a studio, if there's no director, there is no show. So our director for the year is Wanda Borland. <laughs> You're getting a stair workout today, aren't you? <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. It's an incredible honor. Um, I'm speechless. Um, I, uh, you know, all the RVD, RVTV producers who have been doing this for a while, uh, we've uh, uh, learned some things to help make our productions uh, uh, better, more professional, uh, technically as perfect as we can make them. And then the, the new producers that are coming in, they, they come in with their fresh ideas. And a reminder to all of us that one of the reasons that we're here Sandwich doing this is uh, for, for the fun of it, for the joy of it, for getting our message out there. And I really appreciate working with all of you. I enjoy mentoring uh, the new producers that are coming in and uh, helping uh, them uh, make their, their ideas and their passions come, come uh, into a studio show. So thank you all so much. I'm, I'm really honored to um, receive this award. Thank you.
Well, that was you, <laughs> director of the year. That was the director of the year uh -huh. year clip. Yeah, that that was fun to watch. But um, let's take. I think we have a clip. Let's take a look at that program of the year, uh, the Southern Oregon Songwriters clip. Do we have that? Each program we've honored tonight has a producer. That's a lot of programs, a lot of producers, but only one producer will have their name added to the top award. And the winner's name is in this envelope. You did so good this last time with the, with the drum roll. Let's do it one more time. One more time. The Ragland Producer of the Year Award goes to John Letts. Here your name is. to quote David Nenow, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> you know, this, is, this is fantastic. Well, um, I'm so proud to be associated with RVTV Voices, and I'm, gosh, I'm so grateful that people voted for me for producer, man. <laughs> um, I'm not uh, very often speechless, but uh, all I can say is, gosh, it's, a, it's such a wonderful work that we do here, isn't it? All, all of us. I mean, it's just a wonderful work that we do. And uh, as was said at the beginning of the program, it's not about accumulating money. In fact, uh, we kind of come in the negative column when we, <laughs> <laughs> when we leave here. But what, what, a, what a beautiful production of, of television that we do. And what a, what, what a great asset we have in, in this community to have RVTV. And um, I'm just uh, very, very proud and very, very thankful. Thank you. I think we put this back put this on, on the wall. wall. I, I guess you have that though for All sure. Right, thank you. Oh. Well, that was uh, John Letts. <laughs> so I guess we're not going to get to see the program of the year for 2018. But John and I are always in the same category. So we're really kind of in competition. And, uh, but I'm always, uh, John's got two great programs. And uh, he well-deserved. Well, you have two great programs also. I the, do. The Girl do. Talk. And Getaway Girl. Getaway Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was 2018. Let's move to 2019. Mm -hmm. And that award show was held on February 23rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, our MC that year was a, um, involved uh, with RVTV many years ago. His name is Pete Bel. Castro. He uh, was the director of RVTV uh, when it was at the Ashland Library. Oh, yeah. That goes yeah. back a ways. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he was he was very involved. And so... <clears throat> well, he also had a show that I watched occasionally. Oh. It was on real estate because oh. he's in the real estate industry. Yes. So he would have a show uh, talking about Road Valley, uh, that real estate in the valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Was it uh, produced at RVTV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Well, he did a wonderful show. Um, he did a wonderful job as the MC. He brought a lot of heart to the program. I really enjoyed uh -huh. what he did. They're all different, so they bring a different personality. Yes, different. yes, yes. Uh -huh. So let's watch a couple of clips from 2019. Uh, let's first watch the 2019 winner for Best Education Show. Oh, who was that? Who was Regina that? Ayers for Girl Talk. Yes, I won. <laughs> and the so FOTA let's take a look at that clip. Award for Best Education Show, all right, goes to Girl Talk. <laughs> Best Education Show, right there. <laughs> How about that? There you go. Well, it's just not me. I have a co-host, Carol Voison, and she's not here this evening, but I am so excited about Girl Talk winning this year. We really enjoy having women 
uh, showcase women and girls on our show, and it's it's just a great experience to, to hear from these women that are doing wonderful things in our valley. And thank you very much, fellow producers. All right. I love That's it. That's very good. Congratulations. Absolutely. All right. Nicely done, Regina. I, I, I was Congratulations. So <laughs> no, it was fun. It was very animated. <laughs> well, it's, it's very exciting to um, um, to be uh, to win an award uh, from the voting field of peers. fellow producers. Yeah, yeah, your peers. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why the people at the Academy Awards get so excited. <laughs> And now I'd like to show a clip uh, of the program that won program of the year that, that year. Um, it was a new program, and um, let's take a look at it, and you can see what I'm talking about. Let's see. That would be the 2019 Best Show Into the Edge. This year, the SOTA Best Show of the Year seen a Award lot of goes to... Notice the envelope even changed. Okay, the best show, Into the Edge. Hey. Are you surprised? Yeah? Well, there you go. And you guys, ladies can have that. Thank you, everybody. We are genuinely surprised. Um, sincere thank you to everyone here. It's a family, it's community, it's friends. Just really a beautiful opportunity to play and learn from you all. Thank you so much for this. Wow. Yeah, and thank you for liking our show. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciate it. All right. Well, very good. Way to go. It's a good show. All right. All right. Well, we only got three, only three left up here. All right. Let's, this one over here. Okay, the old saying about TV people is that we welcome them into our homes. Let's welcome the winners of the best on-air personality or team. Best on-air personality or team. Okay, and the award goes to David Nienau. You got room to put all those, but uh, congratulations. There you go, Dave. All right. Well, I thank you all very much for this. Uh, you know, this is, uh, being here at RVTV has been just an amazing experience for me in my life. And I so much appreciate everyone here. Uh, you're all such wonderful friends. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for helping me uh, achieve everything that I've been able to achieve here. So I thank you all very much for this. Well, thank you. Very good. All right, David. Congratulations. <laughs> well, we're down almost to the end here. This year we've seen new producers take the class and bring their own talents and ideas to RVTV. The SOTA Award for Best New Producer. <laughs> Best New Producer. Oh. Okay. Is. Alexis Eroldi. Did I get that right? Come on. Oh. Well, you got one for each of you, at least. That, you know, that's really good. Maybe there, there you go. Can we try? I think, yeah. We were not expecting to stand up at all during this. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, everybody. Thank you for your support. We really believe in you, too. This is a phenomenal opportunity and uh, doesn't make any sense. This acknowledgement. Be thank you, everybody. <coughs> yes. And thank you, thank you for seeing both of us. We work really hard together, and you know, to really co-produce the show. And I think it helps us bring a lot of talent to people. And of course, we could not do this without all of you. Thank you. Yeah, every one of you. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Congratulations. All right. Okay, cool. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> that what, was what did we, what, uh, we had all three together. <laughs> it 
happens. It happens, Wanda. Yo, well, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I think what we saw was the 2019 Best Program of the Year, and that was Into the Edge, produced by Erodi Idlor. Oh, and okay. Alexis Hatfield. And directed by yourself. No, they produce and direct oh, their own oh, programs. Oh, okay, all um, right. They're quite the team. Okay. Yeah. But what the other one that you saw there was um, Producer of the Year. And um, the winner was David Nenow uh -huh. that year. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So we got to see him uh, go up and accept that award. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that was the first. David's won a lot of awards. He won a lot of awards that year. In 2019, yeah. David yeah, won did. a lot of awards. Because so many, had, I don't he, think he could even hold them all. That's right. But, you know, they're just like, <laughs> ah. Uh, David is very generous. He, uh, I, I think his program, Rogue Artists and, and Crafters, won yes. an award. Mm -hmm. And I've been fortunate enough to uh, direct I think most of those programs. Mm -hmm. And he was so kind, he brought me up on stage and he presented oh, me with a beautiful plaque. Oh, great. So that, that was really, that really was nice to have that, um, that um, token of appreciation. So thank you, David. Nina, wherever you are. <laughs> there is one more video I'd like us to play. And uh, that is the uh, intros for the three years. Oh. Because, you know, as a producer, um, your intro and outro for your program is, is important. Mm -hmm. And you want them to uh, have the same look and feel as the program that people mm -hmm. are gonna be watching in between the intro and outro. So I just wanted to show uh, viewers uh, what the three years of intros look like. So let's go ahead and play that. So here's the 2017. This intro was created by Alex McLassen. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. You can see the various set pieces are from the various programs that are they produced are. here. Yes. Michael Fox is a clown. His, cl his, his clown tint. Can yes, clown tint. I recognize that hand, yes. John Letts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and now here is for the intro for the 2018 program. Oh, so we had sponsors. We're gonna talk a little bit about that later. And now, please welcome our host for this evening, former director of RVTV, and as far as we know, uh, the inventor of television, news, and sports, sports. Pete Bell Castro. Okay. There we Great. go. And for 2020. It's coming We up. are in the planning stages. That, uh, that show is going to be held and broadcast live on mm -hmm. February 8th. 2020. Yes. And we have an executive producer, and that is going to be David Nenow. David Nenow. And so he, we have a small planning committee that both you and I are on. Yes. And uh, we're starting way earlier than we have in the past. <laughs> I'm so, so glad. So we're hoping that that will have, <laughs> will have good results. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have, uh, looks like we're going to have about 44 programs that are up for, you know, for nominations. Yes. And well, well, 44 studio and field and, programs. Yes, both, both of those, right, correct. Because and, we'll be adding to that with our SLU student submissions. Right, we're really, oh, well, we're, you know, we're going to go out. We're really going to try to, you created a flyer, didn't you, that we're yeah. going to mm -hmm. post mm -hmm. on campus. Uh, so, because we want to get the students to submit their videos, and we're going to make a real effort to do that. Keegan uh, Van Hook is uh, going to uh, actually go to their uh, film media meetings Wonderful. And, and see if we can get some students to Great. submit. Yeah. I'm wondering if we can show Keegan's contact information, because he's really key uh, to the uh, SOTA Awards program. He because is. Because he's going to coordinate... Um, all the uh, clips 
that yes. you know when you submit your uh, mm -hmm. programs you also have to submit a right. 30 second clip right they will be sent to keegan yeah. Yes, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if we also have his phone number because people can call in when they have questions. Absolutely. Uh, until we get you know the information out there uh, about uh, who it, the deadline for right. submitting mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Great, great. So um, now this year and last year we had sponsors. Yes. But we're making an extra effort this year to get some sponsors for our event. Because this, you know, it costs us money. Um, you know, we have wonderful food and yes. we have cocktails. We have wine and beer mm -hmm. uh, for our producers. It's a real celebration honoring their efforts for the entire year. Yes. So, uh, you know, that doesn't come uh, uh, free. So we, uh, last year we had, I know, David did a real good job about finding uh, some sponsors. We have the Dairy Queen, and of course we get in-kind donations from Shop and Cart, and, um, and, and those are very important. And um, so, you know, we have different levels of sponsorship, and of course we're looking for people that would like to, um, uh, uh, you know, give us as much money as they would like to. <laughs> and we are, you know, if you give uh, at the highest level, you'll have more, more promotion uh, actually at the event on screen. But now these shows run throughout the year. So if your name is highlighted there as a sponsor, it will be seen, I, I don't know, at least 150 to 200 rebroadcasts throughout the year. So it's really a great way to promote your business. And uh, so if you're interested in being a sponsor for the 2019 Soda Awards, you can contact David uh, Ninau at David at David Glamour. No, excuse no, me, Glamour Dave. Got that confused. That's David what? at GlamourDave.com. There, we got yes, it. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Um, and so um, think about that seriously. It's, it's really a, a great value to be a sponsor for the SOTO Awards. And the, uh, uh, to attend the uh, uh, awards gala, we don't charge an entrance fee. We happily take donations, though. Uh, so Absolutely. that is what uh, Regina is addressing there. Yes, yes. Donations. So Regina, we have to wrap this up. We do, we do. Let's well, just take a moment uh -huh. to tell people how they can come on down and join us and become an RVTV Good producer uh, in their own rights. Right. Yeah. So uh, to be a um, studio producer, you have to take the basic studio workshop. And the next one is going to start on Thursday, October 17th, very soon. So once again, to find out more about that, contact Keegan. Hopefully you'll see that information on the screen there. So the first class uh, for Basic Studio Workshop is October 17th, and it continues on Thursdays on October 24th and th October 31st, and the last one is on November 7th, and they will be held from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that's lifetime. So yes, <laughs> you can be a, a producer for the rest of your life. And you can audit it. So it, it, it's a good idea to audit those, those classes periodically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so and, um, yeah. the, it's Tell us $30, about $30 for um, each of the classes, uh, $24 for residents of Ashland, because Ashland uh, city government underwrites um, its citizens. So it's, um, and it's fun. And, you know, it's, it's um, something that you'll use for the rest of your life, if you want to. <laughs> and one more workshop uh, is the basic field workshop. Right. And that is taught uh, by David the Bruce. You heard us mention him earlier. Uh, the first one will be held on Saturday, October 19th, from noon to 2 p.m. And it will continue on Saturdays on October 26th. November 2nd, November 16th, and November 23rd. And uh, what you get from that is not only that training, but you have access to the uh, yes. uh, Rogue Valley Television's um, production equipment. You can check out cameras, 
tripods, um, audio devices. Um, I think they have lighting available too. So we'd like to encourage you to come on down and look for another 2020 SOTA news update because we'll want to inform you what we have planned for our event that's going to be February 8th, 2020. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.